everyone, it's Miss Kim from the Brantford Public Library and we'd like to welcome you to another Literacy Skills Story Time. And today we're going to be talking about narrative skills. And narrative skills is just the ability to retell events or stories um, in different ways. And this is very important because when children are learning how to read, Having good narrative skills helps them to understand what they're reading because they know something has a beginning and a middle and an end. So we're going to be showing you some different ways to retell stories today. But first, let's get started with our opening song. Have you got your clapping hands ready? Let's go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. How about waving? We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Good job, everyone. Okay, we're going to start with a retelling of the Three Little Pigs by just using our fingers. See if you can follow along with me. Let's get started. Three Little Piggies sitting in a house when along came a wolf as quiet as a mouse he said little pigs little pigs let me come in not by the hair of our chinny chin chin so that old wolf huffed and that old wolf blew and away those piggies flew how many are left Two little piggies sitting in a house when along came a wolf as quiet as a mouse. He said, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. So that old wolf huffed and that old wolf blew and away those piggies flew. How many piggies are left? One little piggy sitting in his house when along came a wolf as quiet as a mouse. He said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. So that old wolf huffed and that old wolf blew and away that piggy flew. How many are left? No little piggies sitting in a house. When along came a wolf as quiet as a mouse, he said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. There was no one there to answer him. So that old wolf turned and walked away. And he said, I'll be back again another day. So those three little pigs laid in their bed and went fast asleep. Great job, everyone. Did you help me follow along? You could retell that one by yourself at home. That would be really fun. Thank you for helping me. Now we're going to sing a song about pigs to show you that songs can be used to retell a story too. And in counting songs like this one, it's a great way for children to be able to retell it and follow along because they're counting down from five to one. Okay, this is called Five Clean and Squeaky Pigs. All right, have you got your five fingers ready? You could follow along. Five pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Now there's only four clean squeaky pigs. Four clean and squeaky pigs cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. 
One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Now there's only three clean squeaky pigs. Three pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Now there's only two squeaky, clean squeaky pigs. Two pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Now there's only one clean squeaky pig. One pig so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. He jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Now there are no clean and squeaky pigs. Great job, everyone. That's one that you could probably sing yourself after doing it a few times. And you're retelling a story about clean and squeaky pigs. Excellent job. Now we're going to retell the story of the three little pigs in a different way. And we're going to use stick puppets. And all I've done is printed out pictures, and, but you could draw at home. And I've just put popsicle sticks on the back. So you could do this at home and retell lots of different stories as well. Okay, are you ready? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One, two, and three. And they all wanted to build a house. So the first little pig built a house out of straw and he went to sit in his house. The second little piggy wanted to build a house out of sticks. So he built his house, went inside and sat down. The third little piggy built his house out of bricks. It took a very long time, but it was very strong. And he went inside his house and sat down. Along came a big bad wolf. And he went to the first piggy's house. And he said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. So... The wolf huffed and puffed and <gasps> blew over the straw house. Oh dear. So the first little pig went to stay with the second little pig in his stick house. Along came the big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. So what did that wolf do? He huffed and he puffed and he blew apart the stick house. It wasn't strong enough. Oh dear. So the first little piggy and the second little piggy went to the third little piggy's house made out of bricks. Who's going to come along? The big bad wolf. He said, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. What's he going to do? <gasps> I'm gonna huff and puff and hmm. I'm gonna huff and puff and puff and huff. <gasps> but he couldn't blow the brick house over. It was too strong. So the big bad wolf went back to his house and the three little pigs stayed in the brick house and lived happily ever after. Wasn't that fun? 
that would be so fun to make at home and re you could retell uh, the three little bears or the three little pigs or any of your favorite stories. That would be really fun. Thank you for joining us for a literacy skills story time where we talked about narrative skills and some other little things that you could do at home to help strengthen narrative skills is talk about what you're doing all the time narrate what you're doing so first we go to school then we come home and have a snack and finally we go to bed so using those kind of words like first next then uh, will help your children learn um, the proper skills and the proper words for retelling stories. So just talk about what you're doing all the time and encourage your children to retell popular songs or popular stories that they know. And before you know it, um, they will really be excelling uh, when they learn to read. Okay, are you ready with your wiggle wiggle fingers for our goodbye song? Wiggle wiggle fingers right up to the sky. Wiggle wiggle fingers time to say goodbye and don't forget to check out our home base activities on the Brantford Library website for lots of story times and steam activities and lots of uh, fun stuff still to do in the fall. Bye for now!